Hey, TubeUbers, TJ Pyramid here. Okay, here it is. The update that's been uh, two and a half weeks in the making or something. Um, I just really haven't had a lot of time. And uh, some of the stuff was bought in stores, some of the stuff was bought online. But uh, as always, if you know me, you know I got most of it for super cheap. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with the uh, VHS miscellaneous items. A uh, couple things from the wife that she picked up in here that I decided just to uh, add. She picked up uh, Black Cauldron VHS tape. So she got that. I uh, found this horror VHS. I, I'd never seen this, but uh, it just sounded so damn stupid that, uh, yeah, I just uh, had to grab it. The Catcher? Yeah, it's baseball. Ghost of his twisted father guiding him. He handpicks his teammates one corpse at a time. Woo! Mad Max. Halloween 2. Evil Dead, just some different cover artwork from the other ones I have. And this one here still has the plastic wrap on it. Uh, I'm sure most of you can tell what it is from this picture right there. But Motel Hell. Uh, a book here. Gremlins. Pictures. And a couple patches. Dead Alive. Oh, I'm sure I'm going to get Demi the Demon. I'm sure he's going to show up in this video. Reanimator. I have to put these on my uh, vest or jacket at some point. Okay, now on to, I guess, the DVDs, I suppose. Honeymoon. Bad Day at Black Rock. Once again, you know, it's a mixed bag with me. It's always going to be a bunch of different stuff. Fight Club, which I never actually owned before, so it was kind of nice to find this version here. It has the booklet. A lot of nice colors. Two disc loaded with special features. So that was kind of nice to find for a couple dollars. Season 2 of Flight of the Concords. I actually started watching this show. Uh, hilarious. So funny. This actually has uh, Jermaine Clement from Flight of the Concords. Eagle vs. Shark. Very uh, Napoleon Dynamite-ish in Phil. And speaking of the Napoleon Dynamite, Ten Sweet Years of Liger Magic, Tots, and Great Skills. Blu-ray DVD with Fuzz, Liger Fuzz. Uh, one of my all-time favorite vampire films. Uh, I had to originally buy this on a four-pack, a vampire four-pack, so I was super excited to find this all on its own because this is a pretty expensive DVD and it's, it's a still sealed and I'm probably not going to open it. Nausea. If you've never seen this film, it is just erotically fascinating. Once again, a couple bucks. One of my all-time favorite actors. I love this guy. I don't even care what he does. Outcast. Nicolas Cage. Yeah. I think he sports it like a samurai ponytail in this. Oh, that's cheesy. That's going to be great fun. Franchise collection, Tales from the Crypt presents Deadly Duo, Demon Knight, and Bordello of Blood. Them. 
or uh, Ilse, the French film. Absolutely fantastic film. Super suspenseful. I already actually have a copy of this, but uh, this copy was in much better shape than the one we have, the inside and the disc, the outside and the disc and everything, so I had to pick that up. Uh, this one here we found at a uh, thrift store, charity shop, and I knew right away, I was like, I grabbed it and ran with it, because uh, this is super expensive online. This is like, I think, 70 to $80 new and like 30 to $40 used, but uh Andy Griffith, Patricia Neal, A Face in the Crowd. I already have it in the plastic wrap because it needs to be kept in good shape. If you've never, ever seen this film, and, uh, yeah, you, you need to see it. This is just a fantastic film. Andy Griffith probably should have won the Academy Award that year for this role. So, check it out. A Blue Underground release. Films that ripped the mask from the world, 3 Dis limited edition, Mondo Kane, Mondo Kane 2, and Women of the World, totally uncensored. 3 disc. there you go. Trick or Treat. Awesome. So awesome. One of probably my favorite heavy metal related, uh, movies and it this really needs a re-release of some sort of scream factory kino lorber somebody needs to do something with this film <coughs> excuse me strange land uh, i've seen this dozens of times love d snyder but uh, i have never actually listened to the commentary on this by him so i figured i'd pick it up again dario argento's cat of nine tails this is uh, Argento's second film, back when he was still good. This is another one that's really expensive. So when I saw this, I knew I had to pick it up because it was only a few dollars. Scarecrows. Patrick, Evil Awakens, with the always awesome Sharni Vinson. And Style Wars, a uh, early 80s film about um, graffiti, train bombing and stuff like that, two disc, really fun stuff, really great early footage of uh, New York and trains and the underground and stuff, really cool. Now on to the Blu-rays, uh, let's see here. Pick this one up. Uh, watch some of it on TV. Enjoyable enough action film, and you know, once again, for the price, can't really go, can't really go too bad. Battleship still has the slipcase, so that's dumb fun. Uh, let's see here. Adventures of the Tin Tin. Never seen it, but thought it looked good. So, figured I'd grab it up. Uh, let's see. Bad Santa, the unrated version and the director's cut, with all the special features and stuff. Have this on DVD, but uh, not both versions. One of my favorite holiday films. Dylan Dog, Dead of Night. Another one that's kind of hard to find, and when you do, it's usually pretty expensive. Um, so I was happy to find this brand new Robocop 2. Not as good as the first Robocop, obviously, but still a really fun, fun film. This is a Magnet Magnolia release, which I always have a lot of faith in. The Deadlands, a Maori action film. Some nice quotes on it by Peter Jackson, James Cameron. Uh, pretty good special features on this. Nice shiny slipcase.
This is the new uh, directed by Jin and Sylvia Saska, the Saska sisters, but not written by them or anything. But uh, I'll watch anything they do, whether they write it, they direct it. I don't even care. And plus, Michael Eklund is in this. Uh, one of my current favorite actors. Absolutely love Michael Eklund. But uh, Vendetta, Dean Kane, The Big Show, Revenge Film. Hey, Dark Sky Films here. The Last Survivors, kind of a uh, futuristic movie. Takes place in the future about a man who controls all the remaining resources and people just fighting to get them. But uh, some really good special features on this. The fantastic Stephen Chow, of course, Kung Fu Hustle. This was his newest one here, Journey to the West. Uh, some absolutely fantastic practical effects and crazy effects and costumes and makeup and stuff in this film. Finally got my hands on a copy of this. I gave this away a long while ago uh, in a contest I did. But I uh, finally got myself a copy of this. Impossible to find in town. Nurse with Paz de la Herta as a deliciously evil woman. Just a really, really cool, fun film. And now uh, this was kind of cool. I found this at the uh, Ranch Records store, the place with like the $3 movies. And uh, picked it up and figured it would play because they uh, this is the same type of case that the National Lampoon's 4-pack Blu-ray comes in, which I passed up, but I will uh, buy. It's the This is the UK um, version of this, I'm guessing, somewhere in the UK. But uh, Jurassic Park Ultimate Trilogy with uh, hours and hours of bonus features on this. And of course, different Blu-rays. But uh, yeah, this was only six bucks at that record store. Only six dollars for this, so uh, not bad for all the three movies plus all the special features. And I knew it would play, and it plays perfectly fine. It's region free. Okay, now a movie that I have a couple different versions of, which is really cool. Uh, I have, of course, you can see in the background there. I have the one. That Smush Monster sent me. I have the one that Marco sent me. And now I actually have the American release of Wormwood, Road of the Dead. Alright, here. And this is really cool. This is the artwork that came on the front, but really cool because it's a Scream Factory, which I didn't even connect the two. You get the alternate artwork, which is just, oh, so killer. So, so killer. Love, love that artwork. And then of course you got the inside there. So, love having a movie I really, really like from uh, different countries and stuff. That's just, that's just cool to have the different covers and everything. Another one I've been wanting for a while. I ordered it a, a few times on DVD, and the DVD just uh, shit out on me every time. Wouldn't play, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to get the Blu-ray. But uh, hardware, uh, absolutely loaded with special features, uh, documentaries, all-new interviews, uh, early Super 8 version of the film, uh, some short films, deleted extended scenes, audio commentary. So, so glad to finally have this film. So glad. Now, a couple different versions of this film here, uh, which you've seen the poster, Insurgent, with the lenticular cover here. And then the uh, only available at Target exclusive, which is kind of like a digibook type thingy. Comes with a bonus disc with about 45 to 50 minutes of extra stuff. Nice, sleek feel to it, though. A uh, couple here that the wife got. Uh, all Vincent Price related. Kino Lorber's release of Tales of Terror. Of course, with the uh, alternate artwork as well. 
right there. Some good special features on that, a couple audio commentaries and such. Another Kino Lorber Vincent Price release, great cover, Madhouse, fantastic. And then the last three in the update here, all Blue Underground releases, 1990 The Bronx Warriors, Blu-ray DVD combo pack, Escape from the Bronx, and The New Barbarians. I'll have audio commentary by uh, Enzo G. Castellari, uh, interviews, trailers. Whew. So there we go. Hope you made it through the entire video. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, spread the word. And it's a toss-up as to when I will be back with another video. Might be a while. We'll see. Cheers.